I always wanted to make things on my own. And when it was time to uh, make a bed for my kids, I decided to do it myself. First thing what I did is I took a rough measurement of all my pieces and I started cutting them using my miter saw. I used construction lumber for this build and mainly 2x4s and 2x6s. The 2x6s mainly will be for the bed frames and 2x4s will be for the slats. Then I started planing all my pieces using my rigid thickness planer. I started with the 2x6s. All the tools that I have used in this build are given in the description below. Using 80 grit sandpaper, I used my belt sander to sand the rough edges of all these pieces. The joinery that I'm going to use is pocket holes and I started making pocket holes using my crack jig. Using a scrap piece, I started applying glue to the leg pieces. For the legs, I put a 2x4 and a 2x6 together forming an L shape and then I put some clamps on it so that it won't move when I put in the screws. I use a speed square to check the alignment. Then I started putting all the pocket for screws. Using my random orbital sander, I started sanding uh, the leg pieces. Uh, it had all these pocket scrolls. Later on, I'll be putting uh, some wood uh, fillers and then sanding it again. So I started with the uh, 80 grit uh, sandpaper and then moving on to 120 and then 150. <music> Please excuse me guys for all the mess in my work area. I don't have a perfect work area. This is my garage where I have crammed up so many things. I'll be cleaning this up later. I'm using a Keter foldable workbench. Uh, I have two of them and then I'm just uh, putting it uh, together and then uh, making it a large workbench and then working on top of it. To make the corners of the bed frame square, I'm just using a simple corner clamp because I don't have a long uh, bar clamp or anything like that as of now. And then I'm using same pocket holes. I'm using the pocket screws to make the bed frame. Because my workbench was not long enough or wide enough, I decided to bring the pieces to my driveway, the extended driveway, and then I started assembling it there using the pocket holes. I'm using two by twos for uh, bed frame railings. First I uh, cut them into sizes and then I planed them using the thickness planer. I drilled all the pilot holes on these uh, railing pieces. Then I used a countersink bit to countersink all the drill holes. Then I screwed the 2x2 two two railings to the bed frame.
Then I made some stop blocks using 2x2s for the bed frames to sit on. It will give uh, some additional strength uh, to the bed frames. I then started applying wood filler in all the pocket holes and other areas that needed some uh, touch up. I had made a half lap joiner jig earlier and I'm using that to cut all the slat pieces that will be used on the bread frames. Sorry guys, I couldn't shoot the video of the bed frame and leg assembly. Here now I am putting all the slats. I'm just using some glue and uh, nails to fix the slats on the bed frame. I'm using 2x2 scrap pieces for as spacers for these slats. And finally, this is how it looks guys. I hope you like my build. If you like my video, please like and subscribe and support my channel so that I can get more videos like this to you guys.